Tonto. So, last week's video. Was difficult. So we're going to keep it much simpler this week and we're going to make a black and white cookie. One half is vanilla frosting, the other half is chocolate frosting. You might know about the black and white cookie from your local Jewish bakery, from the kosher section of your grocery store, or most likely from Seinfeld. Ah, uh, Seinfeld. The most Jewish TV show on TV where none of the main characters identify as Jewish. I've never actually made a black and white cookie before. Not because it's difficult to make, but because usually if I want one, I just go to my local Jewish bakery. It took me so long to find a recipe. And it wasn't because there was a lack of them. It's because there were so many mommy bloggers. And I had to go through about five pages of text just to get to the recipe. I'm not against mommy bloggers. I mean, good for you for creating recipes and for raising children. I just don't want your whole backstory before you give me the recipe. Mommy blogs are always like, when I was five, I used to go to my Nuno's house every single summer. And my Nuno would make these delicious cookies. One day, I went into the kitchen and Nuno was having a heart attack. And I said, no, no, let me try to save you. And my Nuno said, go away. So in the attempt to save her, I threw one of these cookies at her. Unfortunately, she died anyway. So this recipe may have killed my Nuno, but I hope it tastes good to you. Just get your BFA in acting and put on your one woman show somewhere else. Put it up over Zoom. I'm still not going to attend it, but keep it off of your recipe blog. Let's begin. To start out, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. In a separate bowl, you're going to take one and a quarter cup of gluten, half a teaspoon, of baking soda, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, or one quarter of a teaspoon since we're using our good friend Mosher salt. We're making cookies, not pickles. And then a pinch of baking powder. Whisk it together. Then in a measuring cup, we're going to take a third of a cup of buttermilk. I don't understand why it's called buttermilk. It's just milk. But worse, if you're like me and you never keep buttermilk in your house, you could take some regular milk and put a bit of white vinegar in it. A teaspoon of vanilla, loop, and some lemon zest. Why are you not good at your job? When white light gives you lemons, you throw it across. Get in there! Now, we're going to a magical place. A place we have never been before. The other side of the kitchen, because we need an outlet. Take a third of a cup of solidified cow juice and half a cup of white glucose. Take your whipper. Whip your butter and sugar. Ah! It's getting everywhere! Save yourself! We will add egg. And now we're going to take our dry mixture and our wet mixture. You thought I forgot about them? Nobody gets left behind in black and white cookie. We're going to add a little bit of the dry. <laughs> And then a little bit of the vet. Alternate between the dry and the vet. I'm brilliant. So now we're going to take our batter and put it on the baking sheet. Why aren't you coming? Oh, there you go. 
We're going to wait for about 15 to 17 minutes. The diet cock betrayed me. They aren't round, but I don't care. Set these aside to cool. We're going to take two cups of powder diabetes, a tablespoon of liquid diabetes, and then about two tablespoons of cow juice. This looks like glue. What is this, arts and crafts? Take your cookie, do it on the back of the cookie, not the front of the cookie. Take some of your icing and just drizzle it over half the cookie. It looks like a horse, but that's okay. Now that these are all frosted, we're going to do the chocolate side. Add a bit of cocoa powder to your mixture and whisk it in. Look how shiny it is. No, it's not shiny, it looks like diarrhea. Who covers the chocolate side? Ta-da! Repeat this with all the other cookies and wash your hands. Last week there was blood on my hands and now there's poop on my hands. This is what the cookie looks like. Looks can be deceiving because here it looks beautiful. But if you turn it around, it's ugly. Make a good impression when you first enter the room. When you leave, who cares? It's very good, just not Jewish deli good. So, what did we learn today? No matter how hard you try sometimes, your good is just not as good as other people's goods. Will I ever make a black and white cookie as good as one at my local Jewish bakery? No, and you know what? I don't accept it, but we have to. All right, I'm going to eat all of these and I will see you next week. Goodbye. Turn the camera off, it's dirty.